not fighting this week. We're just trying out some new games. Uh, we're just a little angry, um, and we're trying to get some game shows pitching to Match.com and Big Oil. Well, see, I'm angry because season one of Viva La Bam was the real season we all be care about. None of this season two and three bullshit. Yeah, and third of all, like, I asked Cam, can you pick up my stolen bike? And he said he's too goddamn busy for me all this week on two C's. In a pod. Map. Cam. Let's, let's get this podcast underway there, Cam. Let's you're, get uh, this potty started. Let's get this potty started. I like that. Did All you right, did you buddy. did you come up with that? That's really funny. I started that. I started that trend. Uh yeah, some people stole it from me back in the nineties. Um yeah, I was a big hit back then. Yes. Um you were writing the song. It was this pro podcasting song. <laughs> Of course, let's get this potty started. Uh, which you had a lot of success coming from the the kids version too, the toilet training. <laughs> let's get this potty started uh, to train kids to use the toilet. Yeah, did, how did you like? We had a very interesting strategy to learn potty training. My dad used to put Cheerios in the toilet, and that's how we we peed on them. Interesting. Now, I take it you're telling the truth right now. Is what you just said. Yeah. Um, yeah, you know what? I've never. I, I can't. I, did you ask your father that question? Like, hey, dad, just question. How did you potty train us? Uh, I think he just told us because he was telling someone else who was currently trying to potty train their kid. So he just said, "What we got these guys to do is they put cheers in the toilet and they just like peeing on them. They just like peeing on things, right?" And it worked. Well, I guess this is what does it only work for? Uh, only work for a guy then. Well, I still put Cheerios in the toilet. You still put Cheerios in the toilet before you pee. Uh, Cam, we lived together. That was one of the that was one of the weirdest things that I had to adjust to moving in with you. Um, I was okay, I was okay with the uh, I was okay with the spit cups everywhere. That was cool. Um, I was okay with the early mornings. I was okay with that. But where I really drew the line was the honey nut Cheerios in the toilet bowl every every single morning. It's just it's just wasteful. It's just a little wasteful. Yeah, is what it is. I mean, we all have our habits, right? Old habits die young. No, no. New habits know, die hard. No. Hey, catch a tiger by the tails, like what I always say. Catch a tiger's by the tails. Yeah. Interesting. So there's, you're catching two tigers' multiple tails. There's like four tails yeah. there. Mm, I don't know about that math. Yeah, okay, because it's two tigers. Catch a tigers by the tails. Catch a tigers. Yeah. Catch two. Catch two guess. tigers by their plural. Catch... T- by their plural tails. No. Okay, we're talking semantics. Whatever. I just came back from a hot game of basketball. Cam, you would have loved it out there. I was killing. I was killing the court. Oh, well, you know what, Cam? Before you, uh, before you kick off with your tales of what it's like to be a short, fat man playing basketball, why don't you tell the kids at home what they're listening to? Oh right. Oh god, I'm just so comfortable on the mic now. I, I forget. Well, everybody, yeah, you've <laughs> tuned into another great episode of Two Season a Pod. Uh, we've actually sponsored the basketball league this week. So, if you're playing in bucket buds, watch out for our name. Uh, I'm Cam Leclaire. Uh, I'm Cameron Osborne. This was uh, this was a big push of ours this week. We thought to ourselves, what's the best way to promote the show through Rec League men's basketball in Kitchener Waterloo? The Tri Cities is the basketball hotbed of 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 Southern Ontario of that 401 kick, um, and we really wanted to get in going first. Uh, the listen numbers are not uh, not changed at all. Uh, we're, so, we're still getting the same seven listeners consistently. Seven. That's it, eh? But uh, this was just week one. This was just week one of our names on the jerseys. Uh, so we'll see what happens next week. Oh, we didn't get names on the jerseys. I just asked the guy if he could say our podcast name when he was saying. Wait, for... who's the who's the guy? The organizer of the league. Cam, I gave you one thousand dollars because you 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 told me that all the jerseys would have our faces and our podcast name on them. I, I don't, uh, he, he's a tough negotiator. <laughs> he? Yeah. Oh my God. You know, we, we, st- we had the conversation. I said, I wanted a Jersey space. He said, uh, you know, how about I, how about I say your name? He actually didn't say your name at all. So, 
Um, just supporting a good cause, I guess. Think of, you know, goodwill. Put that in goodwill. You know what? You can't say no to goodwill. We will see. Uh, we will see next week how um, how we are doing on week week two of our what, bucket buds. Bucket buds. The bucket, bucket buds. buds. Uh, yeah. The pride of Kitchener Waterloo's rec bat men's basketball. You got it. And Cam yeah, and but 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 you're 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 kind of shitting where you here because you're in this league. Yeah. And this isn't a conflict of interest at all. They have no problem with you sponsoring a team and playing in it. Um, I don't know. The Staples Center. No, that's not a good reference point. The, you, you mean the staple the staple center in in Los Angeles, California. Right. I uh, what did they have to do with what did they have yeah, to do with the bucket no, bucks? Missed it, missed out on that uh, reference there. I think I was going somewhere else, but it didn't realize halfway through the statement it didn't. Oh make no! See, any no, sense I think you were talking about the Staples Center, that old Staples um, out on Ottawa Street in Kitchener. Mm-hmm. And what you guys? So I think I think you got that confused because the Bucket Buds actually play their men's rec league basketball games at the old abandoned Staples, the Staples Center. In Kitchener. In Kitchener. I didn't know that. Yeah. A little piece of trivia for the uh, bucket buds at home. Yeah, there you have it. Yeah. So, yeah, just, man, crazy busy day. Crazy wild day. Bouncing around a lot. Even called you today asking for some help. But it was not required. But tore up the court, I tell you, Cam. I, well, you you actually haven't told me anything. You've said now twice. Let me tell you, and tell uh, I don't think well, anything's actually you. been told yet. So, of course, um, for the folks at home, everybody knows this. Uh, Camel Claire, you're uh, about four, four, like ten, four eleven ish. Have we? Maybe we'll crack that five feet. Four, four eleven and a half. On. Um, have you lost weight? I heard. I heard that you're on the uh, reverse keto diet, which is you only eat carbs. Yeah, that's it's. Uh, we're trying it out. Uh, I'm at two seventy five right now. Perfect. And I think it's one of those things where you, you go up and then you go down. All right. So there, there's going to be the point in the diet where you're so carbed up, you right. just those those pounds just 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 fly off. Yeah, I think so. They'll just we'll just sweat them out. Yeah, yeah. It's a theory. We're working on it. Um. So, yeah, two seventy five. And uh, dominating the floor, you know, just a big body out there. It's a big body down low. That's what they like to say. You joined a beat ball league too, didn't you? That's correct. That's correct. Tell me about it. How competitive is it? Um, I'd say like, well, well, it's just like the one week that I played. I think like they're all friends. Like I don't think okay. there's no one. I guess like we're probably the two random guys <laughs> amongst their group. It, it, it seems like right. I think they're like early thirties, thirty one or something, thirty two. Okay. Uh, I'm not the shortest. That's that's a there's good like sign. a couple other guys who are like also my height, just better at basketball than I am. Um, but yeah, we played uh, last Wednesday. We'll play again this Wednesday. You know, I, I didn't score. I didn't score. We're we're uh, well. I'll be sure to keep it posted when I actually score a basket. Nice. Uh, I took two smart shots, though. Like, you know, uh, they were open shots. It, nothing was forced. It just kind of rimmed out. You know, you're not going to hit them all. You're not. No, you're not going to hit them I mean, all. Um, I mean, technically, I have not hit any. So, um, you know, we'll test that theory as we go. Uh, you'll get that. Are you more of a layup guy or are you kind of sitting on the outside? I'm more, I'm more, I'm more of a defensive specialist. Uh, you know okay. that's what it is like you know hustle back on defense run the floor you know you're not going to score that kind of thing yeah see i i'm not a big participant in uh defense um more of an offense kind of guy yes i i do have i did play today and there's i had, i was covering a guy who was um probably like six six inches shorter than me so he was actually three feet tall um you're playing with a three foot tall three foot tall man yeah, it's it's a it's a different league. What a uh, weird league they, they play at the Staples Center, man. These bucket yeah. buds. I don't care. I don't do not think this was the right place that uh, we should have maybe invested our sponsoring money. I don't know. It's it seems to be working well. I, I'm I'm here. And we might triple our listener count next week. It's filled with fat people and short people. I just don't know if this is the basketball group that we're really looking for. It's more of a sideshow act. <laughs> um, of course, the ref is uh, a woman with a beard. Of yes. course, um, we all know that. Yeah, uh, I heard you're on a team with the, uh, the 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 reptile kid 
also. You know, he's got little <laughs> scales and uh, his tongue is split. Yeah, we have that guy. He's our he's our um, he's our power forward, mm. and uh, one of our point guards is actually the guy who you can't see any skin because it's all tattooed. Oh, the the fully tattooed guy. Yeah, which isn't really that much of a circus act, because yeah. all the other ones they have something. <laughs> a woman like with a beard. With. That's yeah. Something, <laughs> that's something that you know you can't just you're not you can't just develop. You can't just go do it. You yeah. can't just go do that. Yeah, so I'm not the biggest. That's a good point. Uh, well, I think they're. I think you know, if it, the the fully tattooed lizard man is, is is a freak, I think everybody could agree. Well, isn't there a lizard man that's like has scales though? Like in a cool way, like in a Spider Man kind of way, like like, like a as genetic in, like, mutation. Yeah, his skin has a disease. Type oh, that's way. sad. No, that's not. That's sad, Cam. Why are you thinking about? I it? mean, it's still part of the circus. I th- see. I thought you were talking about like a cool Spider Man mutation kind of way. The real question is, okay. we have um, Siamese twins on the court, and there's always a debate of, uh, do they take one or two spots? Interesting, interesting, because you would think, you think there would be two players, but my question would be, like, uh, what's traveling, right? Because if one has the ball and they share the legs, mm-hmm. you know, where does the traveling stop and that kind of thing? It can just get a bit messy. So, so, you're, so, you're, so your starting lineup is the lizard man... The, t- the fully tattooed, uh, the fully tattooed guy, um, a midget, a short person, a yeah. three foot little, tall little man, person, I think. a three foot tall man, uh, yeah. you and who are we missing? A uh, woman with beard. Who right? Is our oh, center. she yeah. <laughs> right, the beard, the beard lady is the ref. Or no, she, yeah. has, she she's the ref. Um, this sounds like and quite our coach a coach is the circus master. Right, he's, he's the guy with a cape. <laughs> he's got the cape and the whip kind of thing and so we can whip uh, and the, yeah big hat uh and a must and and he gives off the air of being very trustworthy or like trustful but also evil oh uh yeah ex- yeah exactly but you know you know but you don't realize he's evil until you've left to move on to a different uh city right and then you realize his name is donald sterling got him i don't think that's a got him donald sterling wasn't a coach Damn it! He was an no, owner. No, it was G- GM owner. Fuck. I apologize, folks. Folks uh. at home, um, I think Cam apologizes for a couple of reasons right there. I think the be- I think the 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 folk the like you know the being wrong about what you were saying that's the big one. But I think there's also a uh, did we mean to bring it up? <laughs> whatever, whatever. It's uh, five years ago now, so um, uh, whatever. Moving on, moving on, moving on. So, yeah, what's new with you, buddy? Oh, you know, we are back um, with uh, with week eight. I think this is episode eight that we have right now. I think we're close to it. Oh Seven or eight. God, you know, like that. Ten. We're almost hitting those double D's, double yeah. digits. We're almost at syndication. And we're almost at syndication. This is great. Uh, heard a lot of great feedback, of course. It's always happening. It's always happening. Um, people have some great things to say. Nothing new from the emails, though. We are still waiting for uh, that email, that inbox to be popping up. And I think the problem was was that last week uh, we Might tried to some people we, up. We so folks at home, we're really sorry about this. Uh, when we tried to remove C's and X's from vocabulary, a lot, I did. So I got an email from two T's in a pod at gmail dot dom. No, two G's. Two no. G's. No, two D. Two, no, two D's, two D's in a pod yeah, D's, at gmail.dom. Two D's, two D's in a pod at gmail.dom, yeah. Dot dom. So they they reached out to me. They are, they are an actual place of people. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes. It's, um, they, they do another podcast. It's another two guys with podcasts, um, but they don't, uh, they're, they're na- they're, they don't have the same name. What, what what they don't have the same name it's another show where they have the same sized wieners ah, there are two d's in a pod uh and it's uh like they have different names they just have the same looking and size and girth uh uh penises are they both snipped or only one snipped? Both. Oh, both snip. No, these things. If you were, if you were like you, if you put them in a lineup, you would not be able to tell which one apart. Uh, which is crazy that iTunes lets their photo, uh, like their uh, their thumbnail, be that. 
You think that's ever been used in a lineup? You think that was be... like, can you identify this? They're like, I don't really want to. Like, it's, it's the only thing we got. Oh, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. That's what they would do in like, like sexual assault cases or something, right? It's like I know it was his because his thing had a little weird bump on the end of it. And well, then it's hook. like, well, now you got to, was it this little weird bump? And then you, they probably wouldn't show you in front of you. It would probably be a photo. I don't think um, they, I don't think they would make you like. <laughs> I want to see a lineup of so just guys, so there's a, but they no. have to get a little bit stiff. No, see, I think it's a, I think it has to be like a glory hole type thing. Cause you can't see their faces, right? Oh, that could I influence that. or whatever. So I love you, that you need idea. like five glory holes right beside each other. Then each person on the lineup can kind of stick themselves through the glory hole. Right. And then the question just becomes, you know, and then you get to look at them. You have to poke them, maybe? No, nah, I don't think. No, you don't get to poke the, uh, you know, the the people in a real lineup. I don't see why this would be any different if we're just being realistic. Right. Yeah, we're being realistic. Point. They would set it up as a glory hole situation. I don't think they would let you start fondling cocks until you figured out which one was which. Do you think you'd want the nuts in there as well? Um, unless the, if the ball, if they have a recognizable feature, then yeah, of course, if, right. if we're talking a full genital lineup, yeah, you would right. need to see all the bits, I think. Right. So just a black wall. Um, mm-hmm. and it's almost like those, um, I don't know where you find them. Those rubber holes where you just cut like a star pattern into them. They just poke it all through. Yes, exactly. And then, yeah, then make your decision from there. Mm-hmm. They should have a game show like that. A game to try and try and match it up. Well, you'd have just you'd have those, and then on the top you'd have uh, pictures of people's faces, and you try and match them up. It's like oh, part so, of a game oh, show. Oh, so so we still have the glory hole. We still have the the, the generals coming out the glory hole thing. But then you right. see the faces and you're on like, TVs, and you have to pair them up. Like, is that his yeah. dick? Is that his dick? Is that his dick? Yeah, I'm sure. I think this this I, answer will surprise you. <laughs> Whose whose penis is this? Yeah. You don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, or just have it with all different body parts too, like feet and hands. Oh yeah. And, okay, for those real creepy uh, feet and hand people who live out there. Or just like knees, just like which which knee do you think this is? <laughs> like whose knee? <laughs> yeah. It's a dumb game show. Uh, it had no, it had potential. You started off hot. It started out hot, and then the idea just fell. I think the part of it is that it could be a section of the game show, not a whole thing, though. Mm-hmm. Well, that's possible. I think next time, though, if you're going to throw something out like that, you got to be ready with, like, examples, examples. Of, it almost has to be, like, a full idea. Right. You know, right. if you want to throw if you want to throw that one out for next time. But folks at home, let us know. Uh, let us know what you thought about Cam's um, new game show. Uh, we need a name for it. Glory Hole Countdown. Glory Hole might... Countdown. Would you watch Glory Hole Countdown? I don't know. Let us know. Two season a pod at gmail.com. Those emails, the, the inbox is w- waiting. We paid Do for we, the... Are we at least getting spam in our inbox? We, we, I don't even think we get, like, spam. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not sure. I haven't checked the spam folder, but, uh, yeah, unless there's a... Somehow we ended up on match.com or something. Fuck, maybe we should just adjust our podcast to... Firing up to match.com and just asking for guests on the podcast. Oh, is that is that the best way to uh <laughs> I don't know. Just trying out different things. Here. Again again, Cam, if you're gonna if you're gonna throw out if you're gonna throw out a thought, it needs to be you need to you need to have thought it out. Alright, well, okay, here's the thought. Perfect. Y- you seem to be good with words with ladies. Right? Um well as a man who is uh a- approximately six two um, approximately uh, 195 barrel, pounds. Barrel chested. Uh, yeah, yeah. Massive rock, hands. rock hard chest. Big fat cock. Yeah, I, I, I think yeah. I, I think I, I think I fit in your, uh, in your quality. Why, why do you ask? Why do you ask? Well, if you can get girls on Tinder to come over thinking they're gonna hang out, then we just record a live podcast <laughs> every time. So what you're telling, so what you're telling me is, uh, go online dating. And yeah. then somehow, yeah, get them back to my house, and then they show mm-hmm. up, and you're sitting there at the table already. The microphones are ready to go. Cans are hot. The, can, the cans are hot. We've smashed that record button. Yeah. Just, and then, <laughs> and then yeah. we do a normal show, but with them as a guest? Well, no, we can have trivia. 
Okay, we have a tri- we have we have a trivia. El- <laughs> we'll add a trivia element to keep it a little fun and not weird at all. And towards the end of it, we're gonna get um, we're gonna get you to leave the room, mm-hmm. and then we'll get an honest opinion of what they thought of you. Okay, wait. So you you're not you're not, you're pitching an entirely different show that that is actually just me going on blind dates and then them on record uh, giving their honest opinion about me. Well, like, that's the ending part of it. Like, it's not the main part of it. The it's main like part sh- of it. <laughs> it's more main part of it's the trivia. Oh, okay. okay so really, <laughs> this way, this and it's way. gonna be like very specific trivia that me and you only know. And we're just going to keep giving her, like, bah, wrong answer. <laughs> Be like, what was Joyce Manor's um, first song off his album, Never Hung Over Again? She's like, I don't know. You're like, oh, Christmas card. Yeah, next I, question, please. She's like, I don't know what any of those things are. <laughs> yeah, you're like, what was Anique's favorite thing to do in the morning? It's like, what I have blend, was, blend food. What was <laughs> Anique's? Yeah, yeah, that's that's great. That's fantastic. Yeah. Who lived Stupid. in the room below Cameron <laughs> before Mike Borkovich? <laughs> what was the one. name of the uh, song Caitlin, that yeah, guy played? By chance. It's like, I don't know who lived there. You're like, ooh, tough answer. No, that was Matt Arena Random. <laughs> okay, fi- final question. This is worth all the points. Uh, finish the line. I gave you blank. <laughs> A dollar? No answer was everything. Oh, no, the answer was everything. You lost. <laughs> Sorry. Um, you could in, like, you could do it in a way that um, you offer some prize if you're like, hey. But then we don't have any money to do that because we spend all the money. We spend all the money on the uh, the basket buds. Or what, oh, what are they, what are they called? Well, here's, what, here's what we do. We we'll say called? we'll pay you if you get. 50% on a quiz. Like, easy. 50%. <laughs> and you start off some layups. You're like, a cat is... And they're like, cat, I don't know. A cat is what? <laughs> a cat, a cat. <laughs> what is a cat, Cam? A cat is an animal. Okay. Like, okay, yeah. There you go. The dog goes... Move. What? A bark. To Wolf. the park. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So, 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 you're, so, so we set up the question like it's super easy. <laughs> every time, it's, every time, it's just impossible. We live in uh, a country, a terrible time, <laughs> <laughs> and then we just get hard, hard, deep into it. To the left of my graduation photo is <laughs> Shane Lawrence. It's like, oh yeah, who's like, that? Uh, you know what, Cam? I'm glad. You know what? This 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 is uh. If we hadn't spent all that money on the bu- the basket buds, yeah, or bucket the, buds. the bucket the bucket buds, uh, I think you would really have something here. Yeah, there's something. Um, I'll 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 keep developing it. I'll pitch it to Fox or something like that. My connections at Fox Media. Your connections at Fox. Now I hear um because uh, you spent so much time in Dallas. Yeah, uh, you really made some connections in the media market down there. Yeah, buddy, big oil, big big oil, uh, and big tobacco. You had you had you had dinner with both of them uh, when you <laughs> Mr. were down big there. Big tobacco, <laughs> big tobacco, uh, and big yeah. oil, and Mister Big Oil. He prefers to be called Dave. Oh, oh, oh he has a he has a, he has a first name. That's Dave. his last name. His oh. last name's Dave. <laughs> he, has an, he has an interesting last name. Um, so, so yeah, so tell me, so you, of course you, so you went to big entertainment also, yeah. big uh, entertainment. and you, and you made some, you made some hookups, made some hookups. Uh, yeah. Or, uh, it's, it's all about, uh, whose hands you're shaking, whose dicks you're sucking, you know? Interesting. Now, uh, <laughs> Texas, a state famously known for not, not appreciating half of the things that you said, uh, but you just shaking went, hands, <laughs> shaking hands. They find that uh, applause. They're more fist bump kind of people. Yes, <laughs> they were. You know those ten gallon hats, fist bumping each other with their bolo ties. Yeah, yeah. I didn't when I was down there. I didn't see one bolo tie, which is a little disappointing. I thought that was supposed. That was like their thing. I just thought you weren't allowed to wear anything else. What That's was what I wore the I, whole time. <laughs> You were, you were the only person wearing a bolo yeah, tie. I was wearing a sleeveless shirt with a bolo tie, baby. 
I got a lot of weird looks. I got a lot of weird looks. But and I always start off a conversation with howdy. <laughs> howdy, partner. Howdy, partner. Uh, howdy, but, partner. But they had bolo ties for sale, I'm sure. Did tourist shops have bolo ties kind of ready to go? I, I, Dallas didn't have any. Tour, tour so where shops. are they wearing? Where are they wearing bolo ties then? I don't know. I just, I I couldn't find them. Maybe in uh, maybe in like Austin, or like uh, yeah, maybe Austin. I feel like that's a more badass. Spot. I was gonna say. I feel like yeah. I bet San Antonio. That is the maybe. name. That is the sound of an you know a bolo I wearing tra- people. I made sure to every time that uh, I went into a place, I went howdy partner. Where can I place my gun? Yeah, just to see if uh, just how they reacted, and a lot of times they gave me answers, <laughs> and a lot of the times they, they were very not worried about you. Being and they <laughs> said, "Sir, why didn't you wear any pants?" I said, "Oh, well, open carry, am I right?" <laughs> that's that's what open carry means. It means you can uh, just walk around with <laughs> no pants on and your junk, just kind of hanging, <laughs> just kind of hanging around. Yeah, yeah. Um, you watch the fights this weekend. I did not. Ooh. It's so late. I know. It's so late, late. dude. The, the the one that the, when we watched the UFC fight at your house and when it was happening in like Abu Dhabi or Saudi Arabia. Oh, that was perfect time. And it was like we two start o'clock. we start watching it. Yeah, noon. We're done at two. It was perfect. It was perfect. Yeah. But uh, I did not watch it. That's fair. You get the highlights. I saw I saw the highlights of the the fights. It was great. It's so long, though. You're so right. I mean, no one needs to be up on the East Coast till one thirty, just going, all right, that's it. Like, yeah. I'm bound to fall asleep. They need to get their shit together. And I mean, like, how how long does the whole thing take from end oh, of the main God. event? Yeah, like, actually, from the beginning of the very first fight or the first <laughs> time somebody walks in the ring and says, hello, okay. everybody. <laughs> hello, um, everybody. <laughs> Welcome to UFC. So from the first event or the first fight, which will be the early prelims, only available on Fight Pass, mm-hmm. that starts at six. So and the, okay, six p.m. So you're looking at may, possibly a seven-hour show. Yeah, that's I don't, too long. Insane. Yeah. What's the point? I think what they need to do is split up the division so you have like a feeder league or something like that that fights on Tuesdays or some bullshit. Yeah, take another day of the week that nobody else has shit on or something. Yeah, yeah I feel like Thursday is an open day or Thursday is a good day. When, yeah. Whenever it is, and then you have like a you have the UFC that Just fucking travels league. around to like I don't know Newfoundland to, or not that, but I was gonna you know that you do Rico Coliseum sized places. I don't know. Newfoundland. Damn it, Dana. Why aren't you listening to uh, Why aren't you listening to two season a pod at gmail I'll, at gmail.com. I'll, shoot te- I'll, I'll shoot him a text. You shoot Maybe him a text. Get... You, you met him down there in Dallas. Met him down there in Dallas. Yeah, he's big uh, friends with Big Oil. Yes, Big Oil and uh, Big Fighting. Uh, actually, uh, they share the same office sp- uh, complex. Um, big Oil and Big Fighting. Yes, of course. That'd be kind of cool. Have you ever seen a video of his office? of dana white's office dana white's office no i i take it's, it it's either you're either going to say something that makes it seem incredibly like over the top and impressive or incredibly like subpar and mediocre it's over the top impressive yeah it's okay. like samurai outfits in it and <laughs> all kinds of crazy shit so it's not just he just doesn't have a cubicle at the big <laughs> ufc office he actually <laughs> he rents his, his space own in a little... coffee shop once a week oh yeah that's it yeah there was a coffee shop in Waterloo that tried to do this. They decided that it would be a good idea to do like half office space, half coffee shop. And the office space you weren't allowed to go inside of unless you paid like some membership. So you could pay like $20 a day or something like that. And you'd get free coffee all day. Ooh. Um, or you pay like a monthly fee or whatever. But yeah, the coffee shop was split. So if you were in that section, uh, or if you were in the coffee shop, you couldn't go to that one area, and it just failed, failed miserably. But I don't, I don't understand like, this whole office space element. Like it's a fucking office. Like, it's why, not an why? office though. It's just a coffee shop that they're like those tables over there are offices. You're like those are tables. 
Oh, okay. So there's not yeah. like there was a wall in the it's middle. It's not like there's cubicles or anything. It's just like don't go over there. That's office space. You're like that's bullshit. That's a table. Yeah, I guess if there was a physical divider, maybe that could have worked. I mean, there might have been like a little line, like or like a little mm-hmm. like bank line type thing. But you're like, this is garbage. I'm not going here anymore. And hopefully that coffee shop went under. I hope a lot of people lost a lot of money. Cam, you seem very passionate about this. Um, no, they just changed their concept, and that's better. It's pretty good now. But yeah, I think I think we all learned a lesson there. Is that small business shouldn't help big business? Yes. Well, of course. That's why. That's why it's big business. That's why you know big oil and big gun and big business. They all sit there in their big tower. Uh, and you know, small oil and small gun, you know, they're, they're going to work hard. They're going to get there. Do you think there's any small gun companies? There's small gun, small oil. Uh, yes. I don't know about that. You know, it's just, uh, no, the small gun companies are the, are the guys just with 3d printers. (laughs) Yeah, that's wild. Printing a couple guns at a time and then selling them to street kids. Damn. Or suburb kids. I don't mean to say street kids. Speaking of buying things off the streets, I might have bought a stolen bike today. Uh, Cam, um, let let the folks at, let the folks know uh, at home what you're talking about. Um, because I'm I'm gonna say yes. Yeah. So found an ad on Kijiji for a very specific bike that I was looking at. <clears throat> um, uh, fixy bike, simple, but super duper light. And it's just known to be fast, agile, great braking, all, all of the above. And it was a great price. So it was a um, great price online. I text the guys it's still available. And uh, there's not really, like, any information on the post about it. It's just, like, rides fast, great ride, yada, 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 yada. Um, when normally, like, if I was selling a bike like that, I'd be giving all the details, like, you know, here's the size of it. Here's the tires. Here's the this. Here's the that. This has changed on it. Um, but there wasn't really any of that. And then it was a lot of just back and forth of trying to set up when I could pick it up because he said he said there was a bidding war going on. He's like, I'm texting another guy about this right now. He says he can come at this time. And then I basically said like, let me know what happens. I'm going to sleep. It's nine thirty. Um, and then I woke up to a text. He's like, you can have it. I'm like, uh, was he just fucking with me? Maybe. Anyway, the reason I think it might be hot is first we didn't have any knowledge on it. And when I texted him later on today, I said, hey, what year was this model? And he said 2016. And then when I looked it up online, the specific one, it was like a 2012. So I'm like, hmm, that's weird. So... I don't know. So you picked up a hot bike. That's what you're saying. Maybe, but now it's in Kitchener, so like, you know, that person probably won't find it unless he stole it from Kitchener. That'd be fucking wild. Wouldn't that be weird? You steal a bike from Kitchener, bring it to Toronto to sell it, and then somehow it gets back. Imagine, if it, and then it turns out that it was your neighbor's bike. Oh, I'd have to give it back to him. Yeah, it'd be crazy. Would you, would you give it back? Probably. You had some shit stolen from you one time. Your car got broken into one time. A couple times, actually. A couple times. Yeah. A couple times they only stole stuff once. I think they only they stole my iPod the first time it happened. And the second time it happened, they didn't steal anything. And that was the worst part. It still change, maybe? No. I, I kept I kept a clean car. There was no change. No, they they the only thing of actual value in there besides all my burned CDs, which were of full length albums, not like mix CDs. Uh, mm-hmm. so there was a whole seat. There was a whole thing of there of like, you just had Kanye West discographies, <clears throat> you know, you had Blink-182 all over the place. You know, you, it's some things of value there. Right. Uh, but the only thing of actual value was a, like, uh, battery booster that I always had in the back, like in my trunk, kind of ready to go mm-hmm. just in case battery ever died and they fucking left it. So they didn't take a damn thing. Nope. How do you feel about that? Yeah, that's the worst part. That they didn't just fucking take anything. They just broke my rear window and or like rear fucking yeah, it's passenger window. So it just cost me 150 bucks. Like that's do you all think that it could have been an accident? No. 
because all the <laughs> if they accidentally broke my window and then accidentally went inside and accidentally opened up all of the glove compartments and accidentally opened up the center console then maybe that's but so I, find, I find all those it's, other it hard like parts they... to be an accident it, you can't accidentally yeah. open some guy's glove compartment that seems tough what if he was just looking for your name to, you know, give you a That's call? That's a good point. Like, he could have know. been looking for my insurance information just because he, <clears throat> he was going to take it. You know, because he was like, yeah, I, I need to take down this guy's insurance information already. Where's a pen? So then he opens up the center console, and he's, but he can't find a pen there, but he forgets to close it because then, then he realizes he's in my car, and it's, he, it's probably just easier for him to get out. It's possible. Have you ever hit a car when you're driving? No. Never gone on any fender benders or anything? No. Lucky you. Yeah, there was I know. Quite, there was quite a few this weekend. I'm a fantastic driver, though, so it's hard. The one time that killed me that it didn't end up, like, I've never gotten any Ladies bad, and gentlemen, of God. course, as we know, Cam is dead. Uh, the Cam that we have on the podcast is actually uh, Ghost Cam. Cam was killed. Cam was killed not too long ago. We didn't want to tell anybody. Uh, we didn't want to tell anybody because we thought it would. Yeah, this is deep fake. We we deep thought it. Me. We thought it would just cause a whole thing. Everybody freaking out about Cam being dead. Where do I send flowers? Is his family okay? We so we just thought to ourselves we're just going to cover this one up. So we just have a bunch of recordings on my phone of, um, yeah, just me basically saying things. Uh, we pl- press the play button. That's Whoa. a good point. That's a good point. A, uh, the, this entire show is all in post production. It spent so much yeah. time, incredible, taking carefully edited version things that Cam would say, and then kind of putting lining them all up. And it then is September. Oh, <laughs> and then me having to interact with those things. Yeah, sometimes a couple glitches get stuck in there. Uh, but picture just like the the largest soundboard you've ever seen, and we're just you know Cam's constantly saying things. World Cup of Hockey. The World Cup of Hockey. See, that was from a throwback episode when Cam and I were talking about that 2004 World Cup of Hockey team with Mario Lemieux and uh, Joe Sackick on it. Uh, it was a great conversation we had um, one uh, one day. So let me. Uh, we're gonna try to get this uh, soundboard back in order right here. Okay, that would be fun if we did have a sound soundboard though. I don't yeah. know what we'd keep. Um, <clears throat> we'd probably keep uh, like a boom shaka laka kind of thing. Or I'm thinking, uh, you know that song, the Ferris Bueller, the ch 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 like oh, that's would, a good one. That would be a sound anytime one of us says something smooth or like cool, Ooh. like something a cool right. guy would say. Right. And then, you know, I mean, the, 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 the listeners can't hear us at home, but we would put our sunglasses on and then they would just hear ch 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 I like that. Yeah, yeah. I think that'd be pretty smooth. Do you have a soundboard at your post? Uh, no, but, you know, if you have an iPad, you have a, you have a soundboard. I might be able to figure that out. I just wonder, yeah, we can probably figure that out, actually, then. Mm-hmm. Damn. Okay. Uh, suggest, listeners of the pod, what should we include in our soundboard? That's a good point. That's, Cam, what's the email? Uh, two, two D's in, no. <sighs> no, we don't want to reach the, the, the pod, two it's the podcast with C's. the friends with the same penises. We're not, we don't, we don't want to two talk. Two C's in a pod, yeah. Two seasons of pod. Backwards here. Feels like we're only going backwards, baby. A little uh, throwback to Tame and Paula there. Um, <laughs> yeah, this is not a music show, but sometimes we have a little, uh, little throw in. Uh, That's a good point. L- legally speaking, you 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 can't sing any more than what you just did. Really? Yes. Is it like a certain time I'm allowed to sing? Uh. Yeah, there's probably a, there's probably a limit or like it's like five seconds or whatever it is excessive, you know, rights and all those things. Do you want to play a little game? Sure. What's the game? Um, I say one or two words from a song, and you have to guess what the song is. Okay. This is, so I, I, I honestly thought you were gonna go into one of our actual organized segments that we do every week. <laughs> but yeah, sure. Okay, you say a couple words, and then I'm gonna guess what song it is. Okay, You're going to say ready? a couple words, like two, two words. words. Two words. Okay, ready? It, unless the words are Panama or jump You'll get or, okay. or stairway to, but again, I feel like you're going to fuck with me. <laughs> All right, ready? Okay. And it, I'm going to give it the tone as well that the song is in. So it's like how, I, if I were to sing it, this is how it would sound. Okay. 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 All right, ready? 
My baby. Can I hear it again? My baby. One more time. My baby. Cam, can you do that again? My baby. Sorry, just one more time. I didn't hear that last part. My baby. Okay, I heard the last can part. I, you, can I, give I heard you the last part one? just fine. I heard the last part just fine, but uh, I need to hear that first part again. So, just the first word of that. Ma. One more time. Ma. And the, and the second word there. Baby. Okay, now do the second word and then the first word. Baby, ma. Oh, that's the one. Baby, my. What is. <laughs> okay, I'll give you the third one. I think you'll get it if I give you the third one. My baby, don't. Yeah, Cam, I got it the first time. I just wanted what to spend it? three minutes of you going, ma, 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 ma. Say it. You, uh, you're doing, uh, what, Hey Ya uh, by Ocast. Killed it. Do I don't know do if one? that's a killed it. No, I think, I, I don't, I don't think this game's got legs. Fuck. I do appreciate it. This has been the game show episode, though. Um, yeah. You know, uh, we thought, we thought about this before, Cam. We got games on the brain. Yeah, let's do it. You want to fire up a little game? Let's fire up a real game. Bianca Jage. Cam, I think what we have to do next time is we gotta, we gotta, we gotta, you gotta, we gotta do this way earlier. No. Okay. You're probably right because we always do take so long. Okay, we'll go quick. All right. Y'all no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying because you can spit. You know, just spacing it out a bit more. Okay. You know, I mean, I thought you were gonna go straight from your actual purchasing something on Kijiji right into my this. My baby. <laughs> just the first part my again. My baby. Just, just the first word. Babe. My. Can you now? Can you say the first word a, a couple, a few times in a row so I can? My, so my, my, really... my, my, baby, don't mess around. Here. All right, first, uh, first for Yonka G. This one's coming straight from the peg, Winnipeg itself. Hey, Cam, uh, nice to see you in the elevator there. Looking good. Look, I like that bolo tie on you. Why aren't you wearing any pants? But who cares? Hey, listen, um, are you looking for a little entertainment tonight? Looks like uh, you're going alone up to your hotel room. How about this? I got two free CDs. I burned myself a Viva La Bam. That's right, Winnipeg Zone. Um, well, not Winnipeg Zone, but Viva La Bam Season 2 and 3. I ripped them from my own computer. I'm giving away for free because I uh, just watched them enough times. Wait, is this... Wait, is this... Th- these are d- ripped DVDs? Ripped DVDs of Viva La Bam Season 1 and 2. The good seasons. Yeah. Oh, sorry. 2 and 3. 2 and 3. The bad seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, don't like that one. That's why, he's get, that's why you're getting rid of them. Because as we all know, if, if you have... If you pos- hold on to your Viva La Bam Seasons... Yeah. How where else yeah. are you gonna get your Ryan Dunn fix? Oh, I forgot about that. He's he's well yeah, Oops. he's a, he's he's a fixture in season two and three, not so much season four. Uh <laughs> oops. Uh yeah, I, I was uh when I saw that I just stopped looking. I'm like, fuck, that's a gem right there. That's perfect. Yeah. She's uh the rev- she's from uh Emily, she has five stars as a seller. Really? And yeah, ninety three percent reply rate. I've been on Kijiji for eleven years. Why is oh. Emily selling this? It's probably her son's. <laughs> it's probably her son's old Viva La Bam. Yeah. Uh, Cause he's twenty eight now, <laughs> so he yeah. finally moved out. And I don't, I don't know, man. It's Winnipeg. He might just got tired of watching them. Oh, she's got some great shit for sale though. White unicorn stuff, plush animal. Nike boys jacket, car seat warmer, the Incredibles character. Okay, so Fuck. this woman, this woman is either yeah, either her kid kids are moving out, so she's selling all the stuff, or kid's dead, killed himself because it, that's what it's probably like to live in fucking Winnipeg. Shit, garbage. Yeah, so she's giving away for free now. Because how do you put a price oh. on? How do you put a price on the thing that your your child loved the most? Right, he loved those ripped. Seasons of Viva La Bam more than anything else. She can't put a price on that. She just has to give them away for free. Maybe okay, they'll. I'm, maybe those seasons will bring joy to somebody else's life. Okay, I'm gonna do a, this. Is, this is a this is a little spinoff. 
Okay, we're gonna call this game Lower High Touch the Sky. Okay, this is I'm gonna say an item. You have to guess if it's over or under the number. Lower High Touch the Sky. Titanic puzzle, 500 pieces. Lower High Touch the Sky. Oh, the uh, over uh, okay, under. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna say I'm gonna say it's, I'm gonna say it's over. It's 750 pieces. No, 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 no. So, sorry, I meant it's 500 pieces. Over under 12 dollars. Um. So it's twelve hundred pieces no, over it's and under pieces. on five dollars. You got it all mixed up. Over under. Can you can you say the, the first part of that song again? Just the first lyric there. Map. Okay. Um. I'm gonna say. Uh. Ooh. You know, puzzles don't go out of style. A puzzle will always be cool. And I'm picturing that this puzzle is uh. It's a puzzle from Titanic, but it's like, yeah. but it's the what film the Titanic. Is. Yeah. And it's the scene when Leonardo DiCaprio you is fucking nailed it. Is they're in the car and no, he's banging the it. shit Ma, out of her. Ma. <laughs> oh right, it's the one um, uh, when they're on the boat, just grasping her hips, just feeling. Amazing. And uh, and and he's freezing. You know, he's freezing. They're off the boat at this point. And he's freezing to death. She's he's sleeping on that. Drowning in the water. While this is this is the picture. I guess, uh, yeah, I guess you freeze. I think that's probably what would happen, right? Um, Eventually. I don't know. Uh, and so, yeah, I, I, so that's at least that's at least a $25 paint, um, puzzle. Don't worry, because Emily is a fucking giving this away for only $10. So if you're in Winnipeg looking for a 500-piece puzzle of Leo and other woman, uh, I got you covered, bro. $10. Maybe uh, maybe that can be a that can be a new form of revenue stream. Like we promote people's Kijiji things, they're trying to get away, and maybe in exchange they give us. You know, it's kind of it's kind of like sponsorships, but we're doing the legwork. <laughs> so we do all the legwork. <laughs> we do all no the legwork. They just kind of need to give us. Like, they give us you know twenty bucks a show or something. Yeah, fuck. If you and just want to send us an email and you're like, I have this on sale for Kijiji, we will just advertise it or I anything. Can't... I can't Anything, probably really. even do the best advertisement, but we'll get the message out there. Like, let's say, let's say you're uh, you're in a band or something. You got a show coming up. Yeah, we'll fucking we'll fucking plug that show. Fuck it. Yeah. Why not? Why not? We'll do. Uh, you know, you can you can write your own ad copy if you want. We, or we can... need listeners, and we will fucking do anything for them. At we this point. are We're desperate. desperate. <laughs> oh, and you know where you can find that two season a pod at gmail dot com. Uh, what was my game called again? Higher, low, touch the sky. What was it? Over, under. <laughs> I think it was lower, high, touch the sky. That's it. Lower, high, touch the sky. Touch by an angel. The album, TV soundtrack. Eight dollars. Over, under. Oh high, my lower, god! High, touch touch the by the touched by an angel soundtrack. Yeah. So of course, this cover, as we all know, this is also by is... Emily. So you know how much Emily's typically pricing things. Oh my god! But can you really put a price on truly a television event which changed America? Um, that's not, no, that's not enough. This thing's going to cost like, tw- this thing's going to cost like eight bucks. She has, also has it at 10. Oh, so that's risky. That's kinda, risky. kind of gives everything away for 10. Uh, she's got some great stuff in here. Uh, definitely check out Emily from, uh, from Transcona, Winnipeg. Real Thank gem. You. Thank Perfect. You. All right, Cam. Let's hear what you got. What'd you bring to the table this week? <clears throat> I know. Jeez, I forgot even what game we were playing. I forgot even what game we were playing here. Lower, um, high, touch the sky. Ma, ma, we're, ma, we're, ma, ma, ma. Um, there, there's, a, there's two. Our first two great things for that soundboard. Ma. You saying map and then uh, baby, baby. No, bye, like, bye. Not, not like that. Not like that. This isn't an okay. Easy there. This isn't an Austin Powers uh, soundboard. Bye, bye. All right, perfect. Fire it up. Let's go. Let's uh, get after it, Cam. Get after it. Mondays. It's Monday, everybody, and we're playing two C's on a pod. The favorite game two of C's Kijiji, on a Free pod. On Kijiji. Fuck. All right. You don't two remember D's the in a pod. You Let's don't. Go. Oh my god. Dot dumb. Uh, well, you know what? This is great. This this one's coming straight out of uh, Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Who just got uh just got dumped in that snow? Yeah, the other and day. they are lost again. But don't bunch. But don't bunch. Oh God, you're gonna troll the rest of this fucking episode. Let's go. Uh, this is great. Um, you know one thing I used to love about uh, you know one thing I used to love Cam. I used to love uh, when I was a kid, and mm-hmm. your favorite show was coming up on television or like yep, a movie recess. or mm-hmm. something like that. And uh, yep, you wa- so what? And you wanted to watch it later, but you had no yep. way of watching mm-hmm. whatever you wanted yeah. to do later. This but you knew problem. if you had a blank VHS. Mm-hmm. You could plug, you could plug it into that VCR mm-hmm. and you could record it. 
Right. You could watch wherever, right? And that's something we've lost right now with the streaming and <clears throat> the Hulu and chill. Uh, we really don't know what it was like that, what that was like, but Cam, I want to bring you back to a simpler time because if you can make it through all that snow in Newfoundland, um, there are boxes of blank VHS tapes that you can use to record and re-record and re-record whatever you want. Damn. There's about 50 tapes here. (coughs) Just picture that. That's 50 tapes of who knows how long. I hope they put something on one of them just to find out. Like a fake video of like someone tied up for just like a quick second. It's like <laughs> like it's them. It's totally legal and yeah, legit like and they're doing it fine. intentionally to fuck with them. Right. But it's like it's like someone's on a chair tied up but the chair's knocked over and they're just struggling but it's like there for like 2 seconds. But Cam, that's not even all. What? Yeah. What? Yeah, there's more. What? what? There's more because you know <clears throat> these 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 fifty tapes are perfect as as they are. Right? You can record hours and hours and hours of quality television. But there's a bag of old, worn out, worn out and torn up cloths. Both. I That's get right. Both for the price of zero. That's right. They're not clothes. They're cloths. <laughs> cloths. Why? Why together? <laughs> Because you know, what are you thinking when you're you you're you're dusting off your VHS tapes? You're gonna yeah. need a bunch of old worn out cloths. Right. Right? Oh, I guess, yeah, I can see something there. It's great. They're great for uh patching over things, etc. <laughs> that's right. That's, put, a, that's a put one option and then say, et Where was that from? Uh this is a Newfoundland. Uh, oh right, Newfoundland. This is fantastic though. The post is still up, so these things are still here. However, yes. it's only going to be up until Tuesday Oh, because that's garbage day. They're getting thrown out, people. These need to be gone. We need these out of the house. Stat. Fuck, they got a fucking... I'm still looking at Chelsea or whatever Emily's profile. She's got a Domi Rangers jersey. Size small, excellent condition. Lower high touch this guy, $90. Oh, that's uh, low. Hi, she's a. Uh, I don't. I don't know how the game works. It's a hundred dollars. Yeah, I was about to say no. I thought I was saying it because yeah, her price was too low, or like the price that you said, yeah. the eighty bucks. Yeah, was that makes low. more sense. Lower high touch the sky. Let us know what you think about lower tie <laughs> lower lower high touch the sky. Where did you uh, put the value of any of those things at? Uh, mostly how many pieces were in the puzzle. Yeah, of course, right? Um, I thought you were talking about the puzzle pieces itself first. Um, that's great. That's great. Uh, okay. That's how you play Frankie DJ, though. That's how you play lower high touch the sky. And lower high touch the sky. And, uh, and the third game, which we didn't have a name for, which is Ma. All right. Um, <laughs> okay, moving, moving, just plowing forward here. Uh, we we're just trying to get this, get our shit together here. I think we're, we're, we're just plowing through. Um, all right, you ready for a little uh, headliner, Asinine? Hey, 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 headline, headline, hey, 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 Headline or asinine? I'm ready, sir. Okay. See, we need to put Kijiji way earlier on in the show. Uh, you're right, because we're just going back to back, and that's not what the fans want. They haven't told us it, but they don't really tell us anything, so I think there's something wrong. <laughs> I think that maybe there's something wrong with our email, and our email, our inbox is just flooded. We have and we would such have... a good spam filter that it's just keeping everyone away. <laughs> everybody's in the spam, because everybody's subject lines. Uh, no, maybe I think that's a good point. I think because earlier on in the podcast, we did ask everybody to send us dick and tit picks oh, and we did. maybe yeah. maybe gmail is like it's it's seeing that we're receiving dicks and it's like automatically filtering them out right yeah that, that makes sense so i'm not worried uh listeners definitely uh are going up yeah we're good all right uh first headline 48 year old coach scores 52 points in high school basketball match that's a lot of numbers for one headline 48 a 52 year old coach scores no, 48 40, 48 year old coach 
Uh, this is like 52 <laughs> points in high school basketball match. Um. Yeah. Why is the? Uh, you know, we've all seen Coach Carter. And I, I was going somewhere with this because I totally remember the plot. There was that one point in the movie where I think Channing Tatum went down with an ACL injury. Mm-hmm. Uh, and it was like, how are we going to replace him, coach? Like, he, we, need, we needed him to kind of get by. And uh, so, they, so Samuel L. Jackson wore Channing Tatum's jersey and finished the game for him. That's actually, that was actually I don't al- think that's the plot at all. Alternate ending. Fun. You know, you remember the DVD extra bonus features? You could find the alternate ending to Coach Carter where he saves the day and puts up, you know, just puts up some ridiculous numbers and scores the game winner. Yeah, I didn't see that cut. Nah, yeah, you didn't see that cut. It's really popular. So I'm saying it is possible. You know, a 48-year-old could come to high school and just fucking drop 52 because this guy's like 6'7". That's a good point. You know, he's not like a normal, just like paunchy old gross dad coaching high school. Like, no, this is a... uh, this is an ex pro. So ex, you know, it's Chris Bosch <laughs> is the is the um and I don't think basketball it would they call a basketball match also. That sounds a bit weird. So I'm gonna say that's asinine. Fuck. I thought the match would get you because I thought you'd be like, it's a weird way to say basketball. I thought you'd think it's from like England or something like that. A basketball match. A basketball match. A All basketball right. match. Yeah, you got it. That was a lie. I made it up. Nice. Okay, here we go. I got one for you. Headliner asinine. Round one, Cam. This tortoise had so much sex, he saved his whole species. (laughs) (sighs) I could see that being a reality if you brought... Because turtles have a lot of babies, and most of them don't make it. So... The headline could be a little skewed because he could just have like three rounds of babies and that would just seem like a big number, but that's just because seagulls aren't eating them. At the same time, it does have the same vibe as a Cam Asinine headline. So um, if it's true, I'm hedging my bets here. If it's true, it's because it's in captivity. If it's false and I'm calling it false, it's because that's how Cam writes his Asinine stories. So which one is which one are you asinine, guessing? It's asinine. Oh, okay, Cam. That is a real headline. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That fuck. is a real headline. Everything you said was right, though. Uh, this is true, though. This um, a one hundred year old tortoise named Diego's uh, unstoppable libido was credited for the major reason of the survival of the giant tortoises uh, in the Galapagos Islands. Um, so he was shipped over from the San Diego Zoo. Uh, to an <clears throat> to the national park, the Galapagos National Park, where there were a total of two males and twelve females. Now there is a population of over two thousand. Good for him. Uh, like yes, of course. the uh, The park rangers suspect that he is the patriarch for approximately forty percent of the population. Wow, powerful! Wish imagine I that. Had. Imagine that. Like. Those are, um, Emperor but you're Kong right thunders. in a in a you're right in a in a safe environment, uh, you know where the turtles are allowed to kind of hatch and not get eaten by prey. Easy, rookie Easy. numbers, I'd say. Yeah, ready for the next one. Ready. Joaquin Phoenix not showering to raise awareness of water crisis in Bangladesh. Oh yes, the old water crisis in Bangladesh. Something everybody's familiar about. <laughs> Everybody knows there's no water in Bangladesh. How are we not talking about this more? Um, and you know that sounds like something he's. I think he he's a weird looking guy, or like he, he, I don't I know nothing about the man, but I bet you can just see him and you know kind of he has got a big beard. You're like okay, you're probably a weird guy, and uh, he really cares about the Bangladeshians' water. Maybe it's like a reverse protest. Maybe they have so much water. Or maybe they maybe they maybe in Bangladesh they use more water per capita than like any other country. So him in an effort to like reverse their uh wrongdoings is not taking a shower cuz he's like guys, Bangladesh is using way too much water. Somebody we need to stop we need to stop using enough water cuz then there's not going to be enough water for the people in Bangladesh. It's a theory. 
Uh, that's not though. That I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say. Uh, I'm gonna say there's a headline. You're gonna say it's a headline? Yes. It's asinine. He did <sighs> do something out of protest recently. It was basically like he was gonna wear recycled materials to the Oscars or some bullshit. But um, <laughs> some yeah. bullshit. Yeah. Some garbage. But uh, I figured this one would be a little bit uh, spicier, if you know what I mean. A little bit spicier, that's for sure. Okay, right, buddy. Number two, here we go. Sure. Uh, a mother was sentenced to seven years in prison for injecting feces into her son's IV. Fuck. She injected feces. Ugh. I mean, it'd have to be a wet one, for sure. So, I guess if I'm looking at this strategically, it has to be her own shit, I'd hope. <laughs> I really hope. <laughs> Where else are you getting the poop? It could be dog poop. But you'd probably have to use like a small syringe, and then he'd be in the hospital, and then he's sleeping, and you just, do you have a needle you poke it through? Um... I guess it's possible, but I mean, if you're trying to kill him, like, it's really not your best method. And for that reason, I'm calling bullshit. That's an asinine headline. No headline. This is headline, my friend. God damn it, man. This I'm struggling today. A headline. No, this actually happened somewhere down there in Iowa? Indiana, my mistake. Uh, where a mother injected fifth uh, inject fecal matter into her 15 year old son's IV, and she's been sentenced to seven years in prison. Uh, pretty much, her son was in uh, like cancer treatment in a hospital where she believed that he was not getting the treatment that he needed, so she knowingly placed him in a situation that endangered his life or health, according to court documents by injecting shit into his system that would shut down his system so we'd get put up to a better hospital. Wow. Yeah. That's um, an idea. That's yeah, an of idea. course. So pretty much right. what happens, uh, like, she doesn't get caught doing it, but, um, the you know, they're doing tests on this guy always, and they're seeing that, like, there's bacteria in his blood that is normally found in shit. Right. Uh, <laughs> and then... Uh, it was pretty much like uh, like their first option was like somebody contaminated this and then she got caught. It doesn't say whose poo it was though. So um, I just want to know how they collected it. I want to know the details. You know, need to be yeah. Specific like it would have to be, to be terrific. It'd have to be a really liquidy shit. Also, or did she take the shit? Maybe melt it down a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, makes really makes you think though. Put a little spoon, put a little do the old uh, do the old heroin style. Really makes you think. Makes you think. All right, wrapping up our last uh, headline on my end. Army veteran. Sorry. Army veteran claims prosthetic legs repossessed after VA refused to pay for them. Ah, yes. I'm very, you know, you Cam, you know I'm close to the prosthetic leg world. You are. Of course, you know this is a story that's near and dear to my, to my heart when I heard it uh when I heard this happen. Um and that's what's going to happen, right? I guess it's something that you have and maybe it gets repossessed. Some evil man out there. You know, how do you think Lieutenant Dan lost his prosthetic legs? They got repossessed. He had them. He Repo. was walking he was walking around. Sometimes yep. you don't pay for your Ford. Uh, they come around looking for other things. That's kind of the thing, right? You have all this money to spend on, you know, fake legs, but you don't have money to bend, uh, spend on a mortgage? I mean, come on. Come on, people. Priorities in life. <sighs> um, I really don't see that happening, though, unless, like, yeah, these people are, like, terrible. Like, yeah, and I bet whatever happened, I hope whatever happened, like, the dude probably got his legs back or something, because this just sounds terrible. I'm going to say that's a headline. That is a real headline. Uh, this yeah. happened in a 69-year-old man in Mississippi. Um, they just took away his legs because he's claiming the VA took him away. Um, I mean, I think it's a lot of like weird little politicking that goes involved with it. But basically, they thought he thought it was completely paid for by the VA. But then he realized there was a copay. And he's like, I'm not paying the fucking copay. Um, I died and, or like, I had my legs blown off for this country. Then they're like, all right, well, uh, sorry, but I can't have the legs now if you're not going to co-pay. Yep. You and can't, they, you, 
You don't get the leg. Yeah. Wow. Two. Jesus. Two legs. Both of them. They get. He went full. He went full, Lieutenant Dan. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Jesus me, Christ, Cam. Cam. You got it. I'm, I'm normally in bed by nine. Don't apologize to me. Apologize to listeners who just had to fucking listen to you yawn for. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. A th- like 15 seconds straight. Just. Matt. Sorry, folks. <laughs> All hey, right. hey, you know, are you accepting Cam's apology? I don't know. Two season pod at gmail.com. Right. You Tell don't. Are, please, let us know. Please email us. God damn it. Someone's going to email. Oh, we're, you know, we're, something's going to pop up. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay, Cam, I got one more headline for you. Are you ready? Yeah. Conservative moms group slams Burger King for using the D word in a commercial. I don't even know what the D word is. Conservative mom slams mother for using the D word. What the hell is the D word? He, let me look this up. The D word? Uh, no, I can't Google. That's illegal. You can't. Well, you can't Google because something might I, come up. I don't know. What What do you yeah. think the go- dick? Do you think it's dick? Oh, what what what's a bunch of words to start with D that might be inappropriate? Douche. I guess douche. Okay. Douche. Dick. Um. Dick liquor. Um, it's a variation of dick. <laughs> I don't know. Like, there's not many. Um, so really concerned, mom, concerned over, bur- you said it was a Burger King ad? Burger King ad. I could see them being a little, uh, aggressive and using the, the D word. We'll say it's dick. Um, then being like, we don't need our kids here in this. So I definitely see there's definitely moms out there who are like, we can't expose our kids to this. And do I agree with them? Yes, I do agree with them. Okay. We don't need kids hearing dick, douche, dilly dong, um, any of these D words. It's the worst, the worst of them all, I'd say. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to say it's a headline, sir. Cam, that is a headline. Yes, it is. And is it dick? Is the word dick? It's not. The word is not dick, <laughs> Cam. What is it? It's damn. What? D A M N, of course, a group by the name of One Million Moms is mad at Burger King for I mean, uh, an, an ad that an ad that they had recently that was to promote a plant based uh, sandwich that they had. Where um, at one point uh, somebody eating the sandwich says turns to the camera and says, "Damn, that's good." Uh, One Million Moms put out a statement saying that they find the uh, ad highly inappropriate. Um, and that, uh, the ad, he didn't have to curse in the ad, whether it was real or unscripted, Burger King may have, could have chosen to edit out the profanity in the commercial, but they did not. Uh, yeah, it is extremely destructive and damaging to impressionable children viewing the commercial. We all know children repeat what they hear. So there you have it. Wow, people are uh, very easily offended these days. Eh? Um, as of right now, this uh, the, this this particular Facebook group that has all the supporters um, has a hundred thousand people are in the Facebook group, and as of right now, um, there's a petition for Burger King to edit the commercial that has reached eight thousand signatures. I don't think it's going anywhere, bud. <laughs> Sorry, guys, <laughs> not today. I hope they just like have someone troll their Facebook page and just write. Just be like, what is the D word? <laughs> Folks, l- listeners at home. Um, what do you think the D word is? Please let us know. Let us, uh, please, okay. Please. Yeah, we're, 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 uh, no, 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 we should do a little contest. Little things that they, little things that listeners at home could do, right? Like you have to write on the 1 million moms Facebook page. What's the D word? Screen cap that. Email us and enter yourself to win uh, uh, a chance. Dollar- a ch- a chance to be the next guest on the show. No, I think a chance oh, to be the next guest on the show. I think so too. And play whatever song you want to cap play us whatever out. to whatever song you want, and we won't we won't say anything. Uh, but happy Billy Joel only. No sad Billy Joel. If you're gonna play Billy Joel, no happy stuff only. People, okay? Yeah. Or I'll come up with That's better. The I'm, I, I'm not gonna come up with the prize right now because uh, apparently I have to come up with full ideas, not just little bits. Because this I didn't say just come. I didn't, I didn't say don't come up with. You know, it's, I'm just saying you, you, you can still Cam's say like, stuff. You better have full fucking ideas every time you come here instead of just doing your little brainstorming. No, I'm because just trying to have you, a conversation. You come in hot with the brainstorming, and then it's like you present this awesome thing, and then you get like two 
points into it and then you're kind of done with it and i'm like oh let's keep going like we had something there cam but you gotta you gotta you know feed the fire a little bit when i'm uh gonna get the sparks going i've been feed i've been feeding the fire all night let's not fight at the end of this podcast cam. <laughs> that's that's that that's <laughs> no this is how we should end every show Fuck cam we you. should be mad at each other by the end Fuck, of it you're dumb you're dumb you're dumb you listen uh, you were hey, thanks hey damn what? you Day, damn, damn you. you, you dick. You dick dongler douche. You dick dongler douche, boy. You're listening to Two Season of Pod. You know that was that. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, rate, review, like, and subscribe. Remember, you can give us five stars on iTunes, and you can still talk trash to us in the comment you write because iTunes, the algorithm doesn't particularly care what you're saying. It's more it's more looking at star ratings. Uh, so that'd be fantastic. You know what you can do. We're on Spotify. We're on all those other things. Um, and I guess we'll be seeing each other next week. Are we seeing each other live? No, no I think, well, we're seeing each other oh, okay. in the context of uh, we yes, will be doing yes, a show we next see each week. Other. Yes. <laughs> okay. Bye. Okay. Have a good night, Pace. Map.